Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. Just go ahead and unpause the simulator here. And in this video, we're just doing a transfer from Phobos to Deimos, landing at the base that I created. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Let me switch camera views here. So if we look outside, we can see, well, we can't see very well, but we can see these white spots below us. That's the base that I made. Um, and again, I didn't I didn't do any texture work or modeling or anything. I just took stuff that already existed and just put it onto Deimos. So we're about 530 meters from the middle of the pad. We're five kilometers up. So let's let's go let's go ahead and turn on the horizontal leveler. It just makes it easier for me. And then all we need to do. I don't think we're moving down very much, so let's go ahead and put in some, you know, translation to start pushing us down. I think Deimos is even smaller than Phobos, if I'm not mistaken. So let's move down at, you know, like 10 meters a second or something like that. We'll go with that. The numbers, you know, the, the altitude starting to go down. Rotation. Translation. And... We'll put in just a bit of time warp, just like 10. 5, so we're going down, and we're getting closer and closer to the middle of the pad. Just about 200 uh, meters out. Go back to real time for a moment. And a little bit more time warp, 4, watching 000. altitude. Oh. And right now I'm just trying to make sure that I'm going to be lined up with the middle of the pad as best I can. I think I still, I think there still might be some work to do for this, for these landing pads as far as, um, there, there are some settings in that configuration file that I think might need to be adjusted to make the, because ideally this spot would be the center of the pad and I think this spot is offset from what I was seeing so there might still be something in that configuration file that I need to edit to make sure that that distance 0.00, .00 is actually the dead center of the pad because right now I don't think it is but I'm not gonna like worry about trying to offset that or anything I'll just go by whatever this MFD is telling me is the center um, let's see here so a little bit of translation that way and all right, let me go ahead and start taking out that translation. All right, so we still have three kilometers to fall, so a bit of time warp. 3, and we won't worry about the middle of the pad at the moment. We're just going to get down a bit. We'll get down to two kilometers, and then we'll take a look at everything. 2, so there's two kilometers. Let's take one look outside just so we can see what we're doing. Uh, for fun, of course, because we don't need to, because we have we have data on our MFD now, so we don't have to look at the outside. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to be in the dark. All right, so a bit of correction on the center this here, so a bit of translation that way, a bit of translation that way, and let's go down to like one kilometer. You are cleared to land. All right. Oh wow, that's going by fast. Ah, way faster than I want. So let's take out some of that distance going down. I don't know. Just suddenly, I felt panicked, <laughs> but we're fine. All right, let's turn on the APU. Put out our landing gear. Gear down and locked. Gear down and locked. Turn the APU back off. And look at our centeredness on the pad again. A little bit of time warp. Seven hundred. And All right, let's try to keep this velocity really low. Fine. 
500. All right, 500 meters up. Warp time forward a little bit. 400, 400 up. 300. 300. Okay, we're getting pretty close now. Let's slow things down. Okay, so we're moving about three meters a second. We're pretty close to the center of the pad. It's going to be pretty tricky to hold it. Oops. All right, we're 150 meters up. So we'll just continue falling at this rate. We'll slow things down here in just a little bit. So we're about 100 meters up now. We do want to remember that we won't be at zero when we land because there's, you know, we'll be like in the, in the XR2, it's like two and a half meters up. In the Vanguard, it's a bit higher than that. All right, so we're slowing things down now. We're just uh, really slow descent rate. Fifty. So there's our fifty meter call out. All right, so almost down, and we do want to slow things down even more when we get, 40. you know, down to ten meters or so up because we don't want to bounce. And I'm almost positive we do have to shut off the horizontal leveler. I don't think I... So I was turning on the APU so I could lock up the brakes. That doesn't seem to be required. But I don't think you can land on these tiny bodies with the horizontal leveler on. Twenty. So we're 20 meters up. Fifteen. Fifteen. Slow things down. Ten. This is what we look like, by the way. Yeah, Nine. I don't, my thing's not centered. Eight. Seven. Slow things down. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowing things way down now. It's really easy to bounce. Wheels down. So there's wheels down. Now the shocks have to absorb. Because you can see we're still technically sinking because the, the shocks on the Vanguard. So there we're starting to rotation. bounce. So I'm going to just put in just a bit of rotation because I don't want us to bounce. And now translation. I just want to see what kind of translation we have to get rid of it. wheel stop yet. It looks like we are stopped, but I have not heard wheel stop. Rotation. Translation. And you won't stay put until you have wheel stop. So why did we not get wheel stop? Or did I just miss? No, we would have zero, zero if we had wheel stop. Rotation. So, Translation. And the leveler is off. Wheel stop. There's wheel stop. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's much easier when you have a target. Um, now, again, unfortunately, the lights here at Demos, uh, the sun's not shining. So one last thing I'll do is let me go ahead and warp time forward. Now, what I will say is, you know, since this is technically a base, I feel like it's not cheating to turn on external cooling. Because there's a tower there, we have a landing pad. External O2. So we'll, external we'll do that. Online. And now we'll go ahead and warp time forward just so we can see what the base looks like when the light, when the sun is up. And we have Mars over here. Let me see. How much, how far ahead do I have to go? 
I guess when you warp time four, they turn the lights off at the base. Never noticed that before. Let me go a little faster. Here comes the sun. And we'll get the whole base. There we go. So yeah, I just, what I did, I wanted two things. I wanted a flat area, you know, as flat as I could be. This area is not perfectly flat. And if you look really close at the, at the, at the pad, like if I go like that, there you can see underneath of the pad how, you know, it's angled and floating. But if, and, but again, you have to try pretty hard to notice that. You have to really tilt the camera around to see it. But if you're just looking at the base normally, you wouldn't even notice it. Um, but so yeah, one of the requirements was that it's a flat area and the other thing I thought would be cool Would be to have the would be to have Mars in view. I don't know that it will that it will always be there But I think for the most part When you're at this base you can see Mars right there in front of you, which I think is pretty cool but um, I Just I ran the XR5 using the scenario editor. I just positioned it all over Demos lots of different places and and then eventually I got here and I was like, okay, that's good enough. It's not it's not as good as I would like. What we really need here <clears throat> is an actual uh, platform that the, the platform the top of the platform is level, and then the bottom of the platform, you know, has pillars or something, so that their height doesn't really matter. Um, that's not what what I'm trying to say is this, so that the the pillars can sink into the ground like if you look at this tower here I'll show you what I mean if we go underneath of the mesh you can see how that tower is sunk into the ground a little bit so the fact that it doesn't sit perfectly on the ground doesn't matter what what would be preferable essentially would be to have like two or three of these towers maybe four and then have a flat platform sitting on top of those towers. Um, but I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get interested enough in modeling and, and try to do something like that. But for now, that's going to wrap up this flight. Uh, just a quick flight from Phobos to Deimos. Let me go ahead and save the scenario right here. Control S in case I pick up from this spot and do something else. And pause, switch camera views. And so yeah, that wraps up this little mission. I hope you enjoyed watching the uh, the trip from Phobos to Deimos. I think these little journeys are worthwhile. And if you're having any interest at all in you know how to just quickly throw down a base like this, let me know. Maybe I can make a video about that someday. With all that said, I will see you in the next video, if there is one. <laughs>